even though it is one of the most popular online productivity applications available for free. Evernote is an ideal tool for individuals or small teams looking to better organize tasks, notes, documents, media, and essentially anything you don't want to lose track of. Evernote also allows you to store and simply sync everything across the free Evernote app on your smartphone, tablet, and the computer web version of Evernote. Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me today. Now, if you're new here, then my name's Stuart and I just want to say welcome to this channel. So today I'm excited to guide you through how to use Evernote in this step-by-step -step Evernote tutorial for beginners. Today we will cover all the important features so you or your team can stay productive and organized using this awesome software called Evernote. Okay guys, so just quickly before we dive into Evernote, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that happy note, let's get started with Evernote. Okay team, so here we are on the web version of Evernote on our computer. Now before we get started, it's important to think about Evernote as your second memory or brain for storing essentially anything and everything. Think about Evernote as a digital bank for capturing day-to-day -day information in the moment and for finding that information extremely fast when you need it. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, you have the option to go ahead and download Evernote onto your computer or laptop, or you have the option to download the app, the free app on Android or iOS, so onto your smartphone. And basically, you can connect and sync information between devices. Now, with the free plan, you can only sync up to two devices. However, if you decide to go for the paid plan, you can increase the amount of devices you have connected with Evernote. And with that covered, let's dive into the web version of Evernote. So what you want to do is head over to evernote.com and you will arrive on their homepage and all we need to do is click sign up for free. Now you can skip the sign up process if you've already signed up to Evernote. Just look at the chapters below the video to skip ahead to the chapter that's relevant to you. So we're going to go ahead and click sign up for free and then navigate down to get started under the free basic plan. Now you have the option to upgrade to the premium or business paid plan if you like. If you realize you need more features or expand on the current features that the free plan provides. However, today we're just going to focus on the free plan because this is sufficient for small teams and individuals. So we're going to go ahead and click get started. And then here you'll have the option to sign up with Google or you can go ahead and enter your email and add a password to create an Evernote account. Now we like to keep everything in one place so we're going to sign up with Google. Then here we want to select the Google account we want to sign up to Evernote with. And because we want to get started and familiar with the free plan, what we're going to do is come up here and click exit. You can always upgrade at any time and trial the premium or business plan. Okay, so come down and click get started. Then here, select the option that best describes what you want to use Evernote for. So for us, we're going to go ahead and select work and then next. Then select where you'll be using Evernote. Now remember with the free plan you can sync up to two devices. So we're just going to keep web browser selected. Then we're going to come over here and select phone. So we want to download the app on iOS or Android. For us, we're going to download the app on Android. And then come down and click next. And here, how do you plan to use Evernote? So choose in order of importance. For us, we're going to go meeting notes, project planning, then to do list, then come down and click next. Then again, Evernote is going to prompt you to get started with the premium plan. However, today we're going to click continue with basic plan, the free plan. And with Evernote, like in its name, it's all about notes. So as you can see over here, you're going to get prompted to either create a new note. So you can create a blank note if you like, or you can build a note from these templates available here. So meeting note, to-do list, weekly planner or project plan. So as you can see, you can create dynamic notes from templates or you can build a note from scratch. So for us, for the purpose of this tutorial, we want to guide through all the different options available within creating each note. So we're going to actually click meeting note. Now you can create a blank note if you like, 
but we're going to accelerate the process of understanding all the different features within creating a note by clicking meeting note. Then what we're going to do is come down here and click skip this note guide and then what we're going to do is come down here and click exit with get started because we're going to cover all these important features you need to know to really make the most of Evernote. So with that said let's dive into our Evernote dashboard and create and customize our first note. Okay, so firstly, Evernote's dashboard is very easy to navigate. If we head over to the left hand bar, you can see our main navigation options. So if we head up to the top, we have our personal profile, which we can edit if we want. So we can click account info and we can edit our account. We have what's new in Evernote, if there's new updates and features that you need to be aware about. And then we can sign out down here if we like. Then below that we have search. So this is our search bar where we can search for specific notes within Evernote. Then down here we have the main button which is new note. And this is where you can go ahead and create a new note if you like by simply clicking new note. And that's going to create a new note for you to start essentially recording your new note and we're going to dive into how you can actually customize create and caption notes shortly and secondly you can navigate over to this down button and you can click here to create a new note or you can select from the templates available so for example like we showed you in the beginning you can create a meeting note to do weekly planner project plan and these are templates that you can customize the way that you like but it's great to kind of have direction with your notes if you're still a little unfamiliar with the structures or what you can actually create with Evernote so these templates are great to choose from if you want to start learning how you can make the most of Evernote now on mobile device you'll notice that you have a new note button which is in the form of a plus a green plus which you can simply click and then select the note type that you want to create it's very simple and straightforward very easy to capture notes in the moment so that's the benefit of connecting and syncing your Evernote app on your phone and your computer version because this allows you to quickly capture and record notes from your Evernote app and allow you to sync that directly with your browser web version like we're going through today. So it's very easy on all your devices to capture notes and sync them between your devices. Then if we jump out of this one and come down to shortcuts, shortcuts enables us to essentially add shortcuts to our dashboard so we can simply find notes extremely fast. So for example, if we were on meeting notes, which is the template that we picked at the beginning, we can navigate over to these three dots for more actions and we can come down to add to shortcuts. And as you can see, we now have meeting note, which is this one here, meeting note within our shortcuts. Then I can come over here and delete that from shortcuts if I like, or I can minimize the way that I view my shortcuts. Then down here we have all notes. So if I click all notes, that's just going to show all my notes on the left hand side. Then down here we have notebooks. So notebooks is just going to show me how many notebooks I have. I can simply click here to see all my notes. I can also come down here and click expand and see my first notebook and I can click that here and these are my two notes within my first notebook. Then we can come down here and see the notes that have been shared with me. We can see tags. This again allows us to find notes extremely fast. We can come down to trash to see what we've put in our trash and we can retrieve these if we like. Then we have upgrade if we decide to upgrade to a paid plan. Now if we head up to our first notebook and we select this note here which is the template we selected in the beginning and if we navigate over to share we can actually share this particular note with other individuals. So if I click share I can come down here and click enable and then come down and enter the email address of the people I want to invite to collaborate with me on the specific notes. So this is great if you have a small team and you maybe had a meeting and you want to share the notes, the meeting notes with people in your team. So simply come down here and add the email address of the individual you want to collaborate with on this specific note. You can also come over here and select the best option that's going to give them essentially authority within this specific note. So they can edit, they can view, can edit and invite. So that is essentially an admin access to this specific note. Or you can come up here and simply copy this link and simply send this link via any communication channel. So once you've done that, you can exit out of share 
and then navigate over to this icon next to share click here and you can see who you've shared this note with and you can come down here and manage those sharing settings so i'm happy with that come over here and click exit now what we want to do is actually navigate through creating a new note and the possibilities and features that you can use to really create dynamic notes in any situation okay so like i've mentioned to create a new note with evernote's web version all we need to do is navigate over to new note now with your mobile device android or ios you can download the free app and to simply create a new note all you need to do is click this green button down in the right hand corner of your phone and select the dynamic note that you want to create it's as simple as that now as you can see we've already created a fresh note here and then we've created a note from a pre-made template by simply clicking the down arrow next to new note and selecting meeting note so we've got two notes here we've got a blank and we've got a pre-made template okay so let's first identify some of the important elements within this pre-made note so firstly you can see the title of this note which is meeting note you can also see it over here if you want to change the name of your note all you need to do is select this and then add your new note title so we're going to go ahead and go first meeting you can name this anything you like and as you can see the name the title of this note changes over here now we have our title here below that if we click below the title we have the option to create multiple elements or to format the way we want to add our text or our notes now before we dive into this bar up here the formatting bar down here we have a few pre-made elements so down here we have a table over here and then down here we have a tick box so as you can see you can untick or tick these boxes then down here we've got simple bullet points and then down here we have another table that has been slightly customized with multiple columns we've got three columns across here with different titles and then you can see this has been colored then down here again we have tick boxes two tick boxes for a dynamic note so these are some of the elements within our pre-made note that we selected at the beginning now if we navigate over to our new note that we created simply by clicking new note you can see that this is a completely blank note now we can navigate over here and actually select a template if we like and start building from a template as we have just showed you from meeting notes and you can scroll through all these different templates and navigate through all these different collections or categories to find templates that you want to play around with and customize the way that you like so it's really great it's easy to create dynamic notes just via templates then if we exit out of that one and return back to our blank note what we're going to do is start customizing this note so i'm happy with that and then down here all we need to do is select to start typing so i could start typing anything i like hi my name is stuart okay so you can add any note that you like now with this text here that we've just added we can come up here and start formatting the text the way that we like again we have normal text we can change the size we can navigate over to font and change the font if we like again we can change the size I'm gonna go 20 then we can navigate over to the text color and change this color the way that we like I'm happy with green so I'm gonna leave that text as green then again if we highlight this text and come over to bold we can bold italic or underline this text if we like then again we can highlight the text so again I could go light to green green on green doesn't look that great so what I'm gonna do is actually remove that highlight and again you can come down here and select the color that you want to use to highlight your text again we'll highlight this and then come over to bullet point we can bullet point this text if we like we can add a numbered list or we can turn it into a checklist so as you can see this is now a checklist then I can come down here and add new text so for example I could add new business ideas and then I can come over here and I can change the text to let's say medium header I can come under here and go ahead and quickly add some new ideas and then again I can highlight these four ideas and turn those into bullet points so there's a lot you can do with formatting your text then if there's something you did wrong you can come over here and you can click back or you can go forward so that is used to reverse the formatting then we can also add a link so for example with marketing business I can come over here and click add link 
and then come down here and add a link. So for example, I could link ads.google.com to remind me that I want to start a marketing business surrounding Google Ads. So I could hit apply and that's going to link this text to the Google Ads website. Then we can also navigate over to more, click more, and then we can left align, center align, right align, and all these other options down here. Now the cool thing about adding notes is it is dynamic, meaning you can add content in the form of media, like audio, images, and video. All you need to do is click this blue icon here and come down and attach a table if you like. So for example, I could add a table in here. I can also come down here below this text and come up here and click the plus again and add a divider. Then again, below this divider, I could come back up to the plus and add an attachment. So this attachment can be anything I like. So for example, I could click my thumbnail for this YouTube video that I am creating and that's gonna attach that image in here. Again, I can come up to the plus and let's see the other options. We've got a photo, I can add a photo, a checkbox if I like, a bit of code for those that are more advanced. Then I can come down here and add a sketch if I like. Now Evernote allows you to create a sketch within their platform. So for example, I could click any of these options down here, the way that I want to create my sketch. So I'm gonna go this pen icon and I'm just gonna add my name in here. So let's go Stu. I like the look of that, but be creative if you're demonstrating something or you wanna create a basic diagram, you can do that via this sketch option. Then I can come up here and click done. And as you can see, I've simply added that sketch in here. Now, if we navigate back up to this plus icon and come down here and add files or folders from Google Drive into this note. So it's very dynamic the way that you create content. So if we exit out of that one and come up here, now I can actually go ahead and further edit each of these elements. So for example, with this image, I can click here and I can edit this element if I like. So as you can see, I can start drawing, I can start customizing this image the way that I like in terms of the size, adding text, you name it, you can do anything you like to the images that you upload to Evernote. Now, what we'll do is exit out of that one by clicking cancel. Then we can come down and we can view in full screen. We can also navigate over to more options and rename, edit, full screen preview. So those are the same options we have up here. And then I can save this image and view as an attachment or image. So it's viewed as an image at the moment. And you have all these options with each of these elements that you select. So again, Evernote is very dynamic in the way that you create notes. Now, once you're happy with your new note, what you can also do is actually manage your notebook. So for example, if we come over to more actions and select here, we can add a new note. We can share this notebook. So remember we have one notebook, first notebook, with two notes. Then we can also rename this notebook if we like, or we can add this notebook to shortcuts rather than the note itself. So this just allows you to manage your notes within your notebooks. So remember with Evernote, you have your notebooks and then within your notebooks, you have your individual notes. And then you have the option to either share the note itself or share the entire notebook with other individuals. And there we have it guys, that is a simple overview to help you get started with Evernote. Now what we'll do in the near future is create a more advanced tutorial which goes into the integrations with Gmail and integrations with other tools that allow you to essentially streamline your productivity and organization. Now the number one reason why we believe that Evernote stands out from its competition is because Evernote allows you to simply create and capture dynamic notes in the moment, especially with your smartphone you can easily capture those notes. You could take a photo, a recording, a video, and simply add that to Evernote and that gets synced with your other Evernote apps across your other devices. And this simply means you'll never lose track of anything important again using Evernote. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Evernote tutorial for beginners. You should now have the confidence to get started with this awesome productivity software called Evernote. Now, if you have any questions about Evernote, pop them down below. I'll make sure to answer all those questions. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.